Hey, I'm Stephen and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. If you're an engineering nerd, it's your lucky day. Due to popular demand, we're doing a deep dive into Tesla's GigaPress, their secret weapon. So let's get into the video. And by the way, since I know there's a lot of crypto lovers watching and people who like free stuff, it's your lucky day. For a limited time, you can get up to $250 in free crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, where you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest, borrow cash, and buy or sell crypto. If you want your free crypto, use the link in the description. It also helps out the channel. And if you'd like up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. Unless you don't like free stocks, that is. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. GigaPress is the largest digestive machine family ever made worldwide. A machine that allows our customers to produce one single mega castings that replace the function of many different components welded or riveted together. The concept of the machine was born three years ago when we were thinking about how we can best respond to the automotive interests regarding the production of aluminium structural components, for which Hydra had already become very well known in the industries. We decided to build gigapresses at the time when the industries was skeptical and not sure which direction the automotive producers would take. The GigaPress itself presented many engineering challenges that our team resolved step by step during the research and development process, which took more than two years. Therefore, we can say with some pride that we are more or less two years ahead of our competitors. The most important innovative factor is the new injection system designed by our engineers, called 5S. This injection gives us a big advantage on the dynamic force that we have available to fill such extremely large die casting cavity in the short time that is required. Just to give you an idea of this, the filling of the die requires that we move around 100 kilograms of aluminum into the die cavity in 60 to 100 milliseconds. I just want to take a quick moment to appreciate how absolutely fucking ridiculous this is. Imagine that. Just picture this. Picture moving over 100 kilograms of molten aluminium through this mold, completely through this mold, filling it in a matter of milliseconds. This is insane. Now, I just want to talk about this a little bit more. We've heard from Sandy Munro, the folks over at Munro & Associates. They've torn down Tesla vehicles. They've also analyzed the actual materials, and they've discovered that this aluminium is actually a special alloy never before seen with some special ingredients. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys can let me know in the comments how this material came about. My understanding is that Tesla has developed this in-house. I have a funny feeling there's a fairly close relationship between Idra and Tesla. The engineers, okay, we need this huge casting machine. We'll figure out the material. You guys just make the machine. Let's do it. But I don't know for sure. It is possible that Idra actually helped Tesla in coming up with this material. I don't know. But the point is, this is absolute insanity. One more time. Injecting over 100 kilograms, that weighs way more than you do unless you're a fat piece of shit or on the roids. In either case, it's absolutely nutty. No one's ever done this before. The GigaPress is a combination of brilliant, never-before-seen engineering and use of a brand new material never before in existence on planet Earth. Yes, they literally had to invent a new material to make this thing work. And yeah, we're just talking about an automotive company, right? Yeah, Tesla just makes cars. <laughs> Our ultimate goal with the GigaPress is to help transform the automotive industries into something simpler, efficient and sustainable. As an economy, we need to move forward rapidly and away from burning carbon fuels. Lighter cars and full electric cars are a must for reaching zero CO2 emission. But the cost 
of making them with the traditional manufacturing process of joining together hundreds of parts made by different materials is too expensive. With the mega casting produced by our Giga Press, the lower body of the car can be made in three pieces with several advantages. Less investment, less handling of parts, more quality, less energy consumption, and consequently, CO2 emission. In one simple sentence, better car at sustainable cost. I feel like Idra are actually underselling this enormously. Those of you who are regular viewers of the channel will have heard me talk about this Gigapress before. The fact that this gigantic casting can make the entire bottom of the car in three pieces, front, rear, and center. This literally deletes hundreds, hundreds of parts and processes, dozens of robots. There's so much cost saving, so much space saving within the factory. This is absolutely nutty. The fact that only Tesla, as far as I know today, Tesla is the only automotive manufacturer who's actually implementing these huge cast pieces, shows how far ahead they are, shows the cutting edge innovation, and shows that they are bent on continuing to drive the cost of their products down as much as possible with no end in sight. Let me come at this from a different angle. The cost advantage is so great in using this gigantic gigapress to make these huge cast pieces that if other automotive manufacturers do not copy this technology and use the same thing and make huge cast pieces, they will be out of business before the decade ends. The cost savings, the time savings here are just too dramatic and substantial to ignore. And this begs the question, as far as I understand, at this point in time, I think Tesla is pretty much Idra's only customer for the Gigapress. Now, maybe there's some exceptions here, but in terms of volume and units ordered, I'm pretty sure Tesla is carrying this company right now. So the question is, does Tesla have some kind of agreement with Idra as in, all right, we're getting exclusive access to every Gigapress you guys can make for the next two years because we need them all? Or are they going to be able to scale up production enough to supply to other automotive manufacturers? I don't know the answer to this question, but it's worth thinking about. If Tesla has exclusivity and is the only company that can use this technology for a few years because Idra can't make enough machines to suit all the demand, Tesla's lead is just going to become so much more ridiculous. The idea was born um, from our previous experience in die casting magnesium instrument panels. These castings were themselves an amalgamation of many pressed parts into one single component and represented a huge reduction in the number of welded components with the cabin, within the cabin of the vehicle. This is in itself helped to produce a vehicle that was more robust but lighter, stopping rattles and noises that were often a problem of vehicles produced in the early 90s. Besides, we were thinking that Gigapress could be used to produce parts with multi-cavity dies with consequent reduction of the casting production cost. And lastly, our motto was at the time, think big and be the first. And we did it. The aim of Hydra is to be a leader for innovation and solutions for the foundry industries. Therefore, we must continue to strive forward with new technologies one of which is the new casting process suitable for making vehicle suspension, steering wheel system, including wheels. Ah, uh, dude, did he just, he did just say that, right? He did just say that they're now working on a casting machine to cast the suspension, the steering, and the wheels of a vehicle. Now, I don't know whether or not Tesla will adopt this technology, but let's just assume they will. How much more money is this going to be able to save? This sounds absolutely insane. Now, I don't know how they're going to do this, but hey, I'd like to see this innovation come in the future. I'll be keeping an eye on their social media to see what comes of this. But just imagine if this Idra company can continue to feed Tesla solutions. There's a bit of an interface. Tesla engineers, Idra, Tesla engineers, Idra. Hey, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's reduce this part. Reduce this cost. Reduce this. I can see this thing getting into a really, really interesting relationship. Just keep in mind again. Most other automotive manufacturers right now are basically morons. Tesla's really the only company pushing the envelope here in terms of engineering. So guess who's going to be pushing Idra to innovate and create new products and new solutions to drive down costs even further? And who's going to be buying the equipment to take advantage of that? Spoiler alert, that would be Tesla. I think we just heard a really important clue that Tesla's got another path to continue to drive their costs down pretty dramatically over the medium term. This is very exciting news, of course. I'm speculating here. Maybe Tesla won't want this technology, but man, this sounds really exciting. We have patented a new foundry process called low pressure forging or LPF for short. 
And for sure, it will be the subject of some interesting future posts to be found on our social media and website outlets. But going back to the Gigapress family, we have increased our range of machines to encompass also another world first, an 8,000 ton die casting press. Spoiler alert, this particular machine is for Tesla's Cybertruck, confirmed by Elon Musk. We know exactly what this machine is for. Maybe there'll be some other companies in the future that would like to take advantage of this absolutely monstrous machine. But for now, this is exclusively the domain of Tesla. They need these to crank out Cybertrucks. By the way, I don't think anyone, anyone is expecting Cybertruck to be as quick, efficient, and cheap to produce as it's going to be. Remember, huge piece of steel scored, very few parts and processes. You've got no stamping. Like, there's so few things going on in this vehicle. If you're casting the entire rear of the Cybertruck in three pieces, then the rest of the exoskeleton is one gigantic piece of steel that you score. Dude, uh, money printer. Anyway, I've already covered that in the Cybertruck is Engineering Genius video, but man, I just... No one, no one gets it. Unless you're like a total engineering nerd, I just don't think people are able to put two and two together and connect the dots and see what's going to happen with the Cybertruck. Guys, it's, it's like, think about this, right? You cast the entire rear of the car in three pieces in a few milliseconds, then you get a gigantic fucking piece of steel, bend it around, and then bang, you've got your whole car put together, and now you just got the interior. Like, that's pretty much it. Like, insane. Versus literally making hundreds, if not thousands of different parts, stamping, welding, but like... Dude, I've got to stop ranting. I just, I'm so excited about this, I can't contain myself. And it is with great pride that I can announce we have done it. It's no longer just a dream or drawings on paper. It's now reality. A reality that Hydra and the team behind the Giga Press have been able to execute in a very short space of time following the very high demand of our customer from all around the world. AKA our customer in Fremont, our customer in Shanghai, our customer in Berlin, and our customer in Austin. The first ever order for an 8,000 ton machine has now been received in March 2021. We are so excited about taking the idea of the Giga Press and a step further and applying it directly to the SUV and truck market, which is an area, until now, not fully explored. Full electric trucks for transportation of goods used by companies such DHL or Amazon can enlarge the market of Gigapress. So as a direct result of both Tesla's brain and balls being bigger than any other automotive manufacturer, they're already gonna bankrupt most of these companies inadvertently during the decade because no one's catching up to them. They were too slow, they just didn't move quick enough. But just imagine, of course, they're not gonna do it, but just imagine if Tesla just wanted to be total dicks. They could literally buy Idra and then refuse to provide gigapresses to any other company and they'd all be out of business even sooner. Now, Tesla's never gonna do this. They're not anti-competitive. They're not out there to hurt other companies. They're just out there to be better than everyone else. And by default, that hurts other companies and steals away their sales, eats their lunch, and eventually probably puts them out of business. But just imagine, right, Tesla's the only company that I'm aware of that's implementing this technology now. Tesla could literally sell a few Bitcoin, acquire Idra, and then withhold the technology. Again, they're not gonna do it, but it just shows what a precarious situation the entire automotive industry is in. This has been an important validation for all of us, for our hard working to make a dream reality over the last three years. On August 2020, all skepticism from the foundry industry were shattered when the first good part came off the Hydra Gigapress number one. In my experience, this has been one of the most challenging but rewarding programs, successful to the point where now all the world's leading OEMs are looking to adapt similar solutions. Now, maybe I'm reading into the tea leaves a little bit too much here. Based on the wording and keeping in mind, Italian company, English, probably not the first language there, so maybe I'm just imagining stuff here. But based on that, other automotive manufacturers looking to adopt a similar solution as opposed to the same solution. This kind of suggests to me that what Tesla's got going on with Idra here, with the Gigapress, for the Model Y, the Model 3, and for the Cybertruck, plus the new material that Tesla's invented in-house, it seems likely that other automotive manufacturers are going to have to come to Idra and say, look, we'd like something similar, but 
we're not very smart and we haven't invented the same material that Tesla has. So can you do something for us like Tesla except without us having to invent a new material never before seen on the planet? Again, speculation here, but hey, in either case, this is pretty cool. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This GigaPress is an absolute game changer. I really don't think people are understanding the true implications here. Just you wait until those Cybertrucks start coming off lines later this year. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this deep dive into the GigaPress. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem and I love you all. And don't forget, if you'd like up to $250 in free crypto bonuses with BlockFi, use the link in the description. You can also get two free stocks with Weeble and a free stock with Stake also linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe. And don't don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching, so thanks again.